Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to another live broadcast of Making It Together Home Edition. And I'm really excited for the topic we're going to be talking about today because uh, I relate well with it and I feel like a lot of people um, relate well with it. And that is actually personalizing accessories for pets. All right. So uh, it's not something that we think a ton about, uh, but it is definitely a uh, vast market and something that people can actually profit from very well um, if it's done right. So um, it's something that we continue to see in a lot of the big retail stores like Pet Supplies Plus and Pet Smart and other pet stores like those um, where you're seeing bandanas and collars and leashes and all these different accessories that pets wear. Um, but they're just blank or they have a cute saying on them or something. But these things can actually be very easily personalized. And they're a um, unique niche in this um, market that or this industry. All right. So if you have a heat press or even a home iron um, and you have access to heat transfer vinyl and a cutter, um, such as a Cricut or Silhouette or even something bigger than that if you're working with a Graph Tech or C6000, anything that can cut personalization very quickly um, with heat transfer vinyl. So that's what we're gonna be discussing today and it's actually perfect timing for me because today is my Husky's third birthday. Um, so we're actually going to be personalizing a birthday bandana uh, for him today. Um, and I'll be sure to share pictures on the Heat Press for Profit Facebook group a little later. Um, so before we dive into any application, um, any of the applications yet, I just want to show you some of the stuff that is trending um, very well on Pinterest and Etsy, uh, which is where I pulled a lot of inspiration for the applications we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And the first thing we're gonna look at is Etsy. And all I did was type in custom dog bandana, and this is what populated. So you can see um, on the high end, they're selling for around $20. On the low end, you're looking at seven to $8. So it looks like to me um, that if you're incorporating a bandana that has a popular pattern, such as the Buffalo check, uh, maybe some floral pattern, uh, seersucker is really popular as well. If you're in choosing a bandana that has these popular patterns in them, it looks like they can sell for a little bit more. Also, you can tell that these ones are embroidered. So they're probably able to uh, get a higher price for those. But you can see that these applied with heat transfer vinyl are selling at just about the same price. So it's still very competitive. Even if you're not doing embroidery, you should still be able to uh, get a decent um, sell price for it so that you're ultimately making something that you can profit from as well. So these are some really great options. You can see there's ones that are built with um, collars already built in, or you can just do the tie, right? So you can see that they do a lot of personalization on these. They also do fun sayings that are personalized to the pet owner as well. So this is another popular one. Um, I've been seeing trend a lot on Pinterest um, and Etsy. Also, in addition to the graduation ones, we're also seeing my parent, my um, humans are getting married and they're personalizing those bandanas for um, a save the date photo and things like that. So uh, a really great way to do this. And it goes beyond just dogs. I know I typed in dog bandana, so that's what's coming up. But this works for cats as well, uh, especially with bow ties and things like that. So any pet that you have, this is still a really um great opportunity to take advantage of, uh, especially around um, holidays. So if you can access bandanas that have stars and stripes on them for this time of year, we have Memorial Day, Memorial Day coming up on Monday, and then we have 4th of July right behind that, and then Labor Day. So stars and stripe patterns are really popular for around this time, or even if you're just incorporating red, white, and blue into the pattern that you're choosing. So this would even be a great option. You could put white heat transfer vinyl on here or even red heat transfer vinyl and still be able to market to that specific holiday. Um, the other thing that is personalizing is home decor that is specific to dogs. So there you can see they did here. Um, and I think this is really unique. It's not something I've seen a lot, but it's starting to trend a lot. And if you can jump on this trend now and offer it to your customers um, that are 
you know, have pets, which most do, <laughs> um, then you can see that this could be a really great opportunity here. And personalizing pillow covers is so simple because they're made of cotton, maybe some cotton poly blends. Um, and basically anything goes on them. You can do basic heat transfer vinyl, flocked, any type of special effect, um, and really take advantage of all the opportunity here. So pillows is a great one. Customized um, toy baskets, which is actually which is actually what we'll be uh, personalizing today. So I already held up the bandana that we're going to heat apply, and then also these uh, fabric baskets as well. So this is another great option. Um, these, this one actually I sourced from Amazon. It's a stone and beam brand. So you can see that listed there. Um, and this comes in a pack of three. So you can do different sizes if you wanted to sell them in a pack. But basically they're uh, reversible. You can do the buffalo check pattern on the outside or you can flip it um, and do black and then have this on the rim like we did this one. Uh, so that's a great option. You can do them both ways. And then I also source the pack of the dog bandanas from Amazon as well. And they came in a pack of four. They came in blue, green, white, and red. And it has the black and gray uh, buffalo check throughout too. So um, really great resource, Amazon. Um, if you just need to find one off stuff, that's where I found this stuff. Now, if you're looking for this stuff wholesale, um, I'm not sure of a resource right now at this time. I haven't done a ton of research for wholesale bandanas that have this bu buffalo check pattern throughout it. Um, but as soon as I find one, I'll be sure to share that with you if you guys see this as an opportunity. However, rabbit skins, uh, or not rabbit skins, but LAT, they have a you know that they do a ton of uh, different brands. So they have rabbit skins, they have doggy skins, okay? So <clears throat> you can actually get a lot of dog apparel through that on SNS activewear, but it's all just solid colors. So if you're looking for a pattern right now, this stuff was just sourced from Amazon, but if you're looking for wholesale and you just wanna do all blank stuff, um, that's a solid color and decorate it that way, then, uh, then uh, doggy skins is another uh, great opportunity there. All right, so I see a lot of you guys commenting in uh, dogs roll. I agree. I am a cat person too, though. So I have uh, cats and a dog. So um, I see Cassandra said she's a cat person. Um, so it's actually, I was looking up some different things online to see um, how many people actually have pets and how big this opportunity actually is. And it's huge. Um, so I, I brought up a article um, by Cozy Pet Sitting. And it says that studies indicate that 69% of Americans own at least one animal and 90% of these pet owners consider their friend a member of the family. I am definitely one of these people, um, but that just goes to show how big of a market that this can really be. If you're connected with pe people that also have pets, um, and being able to decorate for them and be their go-to person for this. This can be um, a business in its own. And there are a lot out there, um, but it's not as big as it may seem because again, you'll be competing with some of those larger retail stores. But if you're the person in your area or maybe you're in a Facebook group and you wanna offer um, personalized accessories there, that's a great way to communicate um, with pet owners and show them what all you can offer. So great opportunity there. Let's go ahead and dive in um, to the design creation uh, of what we're actually going to be putting onto the birthday bandana, uh, which I'm actually gonna use the green one for. And then I'm just gonna do a different personalized bandana using um, our reflective, our color reflective heat transfer vinyl that way. If we're out early morning, uh, early mornings taking a walk or um, late at night, then that reflective is going to show um, any time that he's out in the dark. So that's um, a really another great opportunity for heat transfer vinyl and can also help for a really easy upsell for these accessories. So the um, we're going to hop on over to CADWorks and do a little bit of designing so I can show you how I created um, the birthday um, 
design, right? So in CADWorks Live, we're just going to add our text. If my internet allows me to this morning, it's running a little bit slow. All right, Sandy asked, what brand for the bandanas on Amazon? Um, I'm not sure, but let me, while this is rendering, I can go into my Amazon account and see. All right, so this is finished rendering, so we can go ahead and add our text. So I'm just going to do birthday, and the font that I'm going to use is EarthQuest, because I like how fun that looks when it's in all caps. And then just to add a little bit of a different element so that it's not just text only, I um, am going to import and vectorize this dog bone here. So this was a free SVG file through Google that I found. Um, so you can see that, um, or a PNG file. So no background there, we can move forward. Just select the foreground colors and it's going to go ahead and create those cut lines for me. All right, so I'm going to size this down a bit so that it's not too large in when considering um, how small the text is. All right, so we'll just size that down till it looks about how I want it to. And then I'm going to duplicate this text and drop it down here. And now I'll type in boy. So using that same EarthQuest font. Right, and I'm just going to size this to see how it looks. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. There we go. All right, make sure everything's centered. And before I export this to Cricut, what I'm going to do is go to shaping and do back minus front because what it does is picks up color. So it would actually read that as a color on there as opposed to something dropping through this bone if I was to just import and vectorize that or trace it, I guess you should say. I think that's what Cricut uses. So I'll just export this as a PNG and name it. And that will go right into my download so that whenever I go to Cricut and upload that, um, that is where I'll be able to find that file. All right, so I already have this loaded in here. Um, and ready to cut. I'm going to be using Sport Film Lite for this application. Uh, Sport Film Lite is another really great heat transfer vinyl that we offer. Um, I like it because it's super easy to weed. It's actually a lot like um, Ultra Weed. So Ultra Weed is the new heat transfer vinyl we launched. That's what I would have used today, but FedEx lost my package. So right now I don't have any white ultra weed uh, in my inventory here. So I have to use Sport Film Light, but it's still a great product nonetheless. So we can uh, just use that. All right, so um, to cut this, I have it set up on the Cricut here. All right, so this is all loaded onto my 12 by 12 cutting mat. And I'm just going to hit make it. Make sure that everything is weeded, or not weeded, mirrored, and connect my Cricut to my computer. I don't like how slow my computer is running this morning. <clears throat> All right, so Brian says, I just did a big vinyl sticker for the back of my truck with a picture of a German Shepherd. The caption is, I like big mutts and I cannot lie. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. My mom actually has a German Shepherd. Um, I got her the German Shepherd for Mother's Day um, seven years ago. Um, so she's still hanging in there. She's still a really strong dog and doing well. So That's always good. I love German Shepherds, though. All right, so um, I'm turning on fast mode and now it's ready to go. While that is cutting, um, earlier we talked about the high-vis color reflective. So we're actually going to weed that out now and we're gonna heat apply that to the blue bandana. So I'm doing a um, tonal 
type of application for this. And I also chose a distressed font. So if you're noticing all of those like rugged edges, it's because of the font that I selected, not it, actually how the cutter cut this out. Reflective is definitely a thicker product in comparison to most um, flat types of heat transfer vinyl that don't have texture to them. So whenever I say that, I mean like flock or glitter flake. But if you're comparing this to a flat heat transfer vinyl, like Ultra Weed, Fashion Foam Premium Plus, this is definitely a little bit thicker. Uh, also, if you're going to cut a lot of reflective, one thing I always recommend is keeping an extra blade handy and dedicating an extra blade to cutting reflective because this heat transfer vinyl actually has glass beads in it. And that's how it gets that high candlelight power of reflective to it. Um, so this is going to, um, going to be a little bit harder on the blade than your typical heat transfer vinyl. So just keep that in mind. Um, the font that I used for this, in case you're curious, I sourced it from, hold on one second. I sourced it from dafont.com and internet is still running slow, but I'll let you know what font I used for that. All right, so that's all cut out. We can go ahead and weed this one out now. And again, this product is known as Sport Film Light. So really easy product to weed. And I didn't realize, but it actually ganged up my designs all the way across. So I accidentally weeded down too far. I could have saved that. All right, so we can go ahead and trim there. So at least we have some scrap heat transfer vinyl left over. And then we're just going to take out the rest of these cavities in here. And then we'll have to trim once more so that we break these apart for the applications. Now, sometimes people will ask me why I use certain heat transfer vinyl over others. Um, for the most part, Sport Film Light is a really great product, super easy to weed, but it's limited in the, in the amount of colors that it has, All right? So definitely awesome for basic white and black, has some of your other basics like red, yellow, orange, um, but that's, I think there's only like eight colors in it. So if I'm going to stock something that I want to have a lot of colors in, then Ultra Weed would definitely be my choice in addition to um, probably Premium Plus for that high stretch if I need it. All right, so this is going to go on the toy basket, that fabric um, basket that I showed you earlier. And then this is going to go on the bandana, the green one, and then this will go on the blue one. So let's go ahead and heat apply. All right. Now, whenever you are considering the dimensions for the bandanas, um, what you want to think about is where it's going to be tied or possibly folded over. So this is the one um, I used to just kind of test on how I was going to fold it and actually wear it based off of the thickness of a large dog, right? So consider the size of the dog that the person is going to be ordering from. Um, and then, and actually you can order these based off of the size of the dog anyway. So this is actually made for a large dog. So basically the dimensions are going to be the same as soon as you figure that out. So for the blue bandana, I'm going to do a unique placement as opposed to just going right in the center. 
I'm going to go right on the side. So that's not, there's not too, lim too much limitation there for that one. Um, I have a seven inch wide text there. Arrow is the name of my dog. So that's going to go on that one. And then this one I measured out seven inches in width as well. But because the bandana tapers down, you want to make sure you're not going too high so that it can't be red because the bandana folds over around the neck. Um, but you also want to make sure you're not going um, too far down either so that you're actually touching these edges. All right. So be considerate um, of the fabric that you have available to you whenever this is actually being tied and worn. All right. So you can see we start off with a ton of space here. But this ends up getting folded down. This goes to the back and then we're only left with this much. All right. So take that into consideration when you're heat applying this. So any graphic that you put on there can still be read very easily. All right. So let's go ahead and heat apply this one. Preheat, of course, and then we'll just drop in our graphic making sure I'm not going too high. This is the main part of the bandana that is seen. All right, so we'll lock that in place and let the press do the rest of the work for me. And then we'll heat apply the reflective next. Oh, sport film light is not quite a hot peel. This is actually a warm to cool pill, so I'll let that cool down just a tad before I peel that back. All right, there we go. So every year, um, in the past, what I've done is just ordered a birthday boy bandana, um, but never really been fully happy with what um, I've gotten in the mail. It doesn't last very long. Um, which I'm sure the person that is decorating it doesn't really intend it to. Um, but this is definitely going to last 50 washes. Um, and if your dog is anything like mine, it gets dirty all the time um, and it has fur all over it. So it's definitely going to be going through the wash cycle a lot. So you want to make sure you have a very durable heat transfer vinyl on that. All right, so he'll wear that whenever I feed him the cake that we made him. We made him a peanut butter and banana cake last night, and now I get to ice, put the icing on today. All right, so we'll go ahead and heat apply this one. So reflective um, is a cold peel as well, um, and it actually is a really, really unique product that I think would do very well in this market because whenever dogs are out late at night, this reflective is going to get hit by car lights or anything um, with any type of bright light to it. And this will really pop off and allow the dog to be seen. So this is another one that is a cold peel. So we'll wait for that to cool and then we'll heat apply the basket. I'm also really impressed with the amount of um, detail that this one was able to pick up with the distressed text that we utilized for this one. So you can see the distressing in the bottom of that A there. I thought that I was going to have a really hard time weeding that out, but it was actually very easy. So that turned out really, really cool. I love how those two colors really look together. So I'm really excited. My Husky has bright blue eyes, so this is going to be perfect. All right. So last but not least, we have the fabric basket. And I'm going to be utilizing a heat printing pillow for this application just to make sure that this seam right here isn't too thick because I don't want that to cause um, any uneven pressure for this application. All right, and I measured this, sorry, my transfer is stuck to my table. There we go. I measured this prior just to make sure I had enough room there. All right, so that's gonna look really cute on there. All right, and this font is called Faradiza. 
So in all caps, that looks really cute together as well. All right, so I'm just gonna place the pillow here on the platen and then just load on that part of the bag. I am gonna have to hold it here because where my heat press is and where the dresser is, this heat press doesn't have any threadability to it. So whenever you're working with a press that doesn't have threadability, there's nothing underneath the press for this to set on, um, like the Fusion or Auto Clam. So it makes it a little bit harder. So we'll just hold it for this press. We are gonna have to dial back our pressure a good bit. There we go. Because this is really, really thick. It's like a triple layer bag. It's super durable. And that's why I chose this because you could just tell the quality of the photos that they had of it. Um, there's like a liner in here that really keeps it nice and durable and stiff so that it's not flopping whenever you're storing stuff in it. All right, so we'll lock that down. All right, some other questions. Get the dog and dress him. <laughs> you do not want me to bring my dog in here. He's crazy. He's three, but he has no chill at all. He gets overly excited and hyper. It's, it's so funny, but it would be a mess trying to get him in here to dress him. I promise I will share photos, though, on the Heat Press for Profit group. All right. So now we have... Um, some other stuff. I want to see the Husky now. I promise I'll, I'll, I will definitely share pictures. All right. Definitely still too hot. Like I said, there's a ton of layering uh, or ton of layers in here that make this really thick. So it's holding a lot of that heat and not letting that release very well. <clears throat> Patrice, I have a miniature Chihuahua, Bella. She is a, a miniature she thinks she's a miniature Wattweiler. Well, unlike my dog, he thinks that he is a lap dog and very small. So he just climbs on anyone that's sitting on the couch. He doesn't care who you are, even if you're a visitor, and he'll just sit on your lap because he thinks he's small enough to be able to do that. All right, so very easy application. Always, of course, it's easier if you're definitely following those instructions. I did have some trouble up there on that tee because I was trying to peel it while it was still too hot. So as long as you wait for it to cool down enough, the sport film light will um, remove very quickly. That's another reason why um, Ultra Weed is another good heat transfer vinyl. I really wish my material would have been here for these applications, but when FedEx loses your packages, what can you do? All right. So, um, Again, this is a resource um, or a bag sourced from Amazon. It comes in a pack of three. So if you were to get these and personalize each one, that could definitely increase the profit opportunity of what you're selling to your customers. And also, if you are doing those bandanas, those come in a pack of four. And I did not forget to look up the brand here so i am going to look that up but amazon is making me sign in with a code so i need to get it that from my phone real quick okay I promise it's coming maybe not it's not letting me sign in today not being my friend. So I will have to let you know whenever I later, whenever I um, purchase or post the photos, what brand that was, unless I can bring it up on my phone. We'll try that before. Drew says they would make a great couple. Thank you, Cassandra. All right, so let's see here, my orders. Okay, this was by Odie, O-D-I. It's Odie Style Buffalo Plaid Dog Bandana, all right, on Amazon. So 
I will be sure to share that once again with those photos that I post later um, so that it's just an easy click for you instead of having to search and find it. Um, but yeah, I'll be sure to put that on there. All right. Jenna, did you come up with a design for the flag bag for flag bag from SNSA? No, I didn't. But um, I'm going to do a static video on that one because I think that um, being able to reshare that video later as opposed to doing a live on it would be cool. So if you have any ideas for me, April, I am all ears. All right. Jim says use white ultra weed for the first time yesterday. The cut lines were hard to see, but maybe it's just the 50 year old eyesight. Uh, so I agree. Cut lines can be really hard to see if you are not using really bright light. So I'm lucky I have the ability to have studio light here um, from the videographer from Stalls Joe. He had me bring um, home a really big studio light. Uh, so it's really easy for me to see the cut lines um, because of that light. But if you just put even a desk lamp over top of it, I think that makes the cut lines a lot easier to see. All right. Thank you, Patrice. Um, April says, All got, also, guys' bandanas unlimited is the best for dog bandanas. Customer service is great. Got, uh, bandanas unlimited. So let's go and check that out. So is this, I wonder if this is wholesale. Looks like it is. So I'm going to share the screen with you guys so you can see what April sent over. Oh, yeah, they really have cute patterns, too. Oh, look at the little tie. That's adorable. All right, awesome. So thank you, April, for sharing that. And also, can you spell that font? I'm going to post a comment in here. It's Faradiza, F-A-R-A-D-I-S-A. -A -A, and that was sourced from defont.com. So I just put that into the comments. You may see that pop over. All right. If you're on Facebook, it posted on YouTube and Facebook. So either on YouTube or Facebook, it's there. So <laughs> Faradiza, it's Faradiza with a D. <clears throat> Gary says, I use a desk lamp to help see weed lines. White is very hard for me to see. Yeah. White heat transfer vinyl and any type of heat transfer vinyl, in my opinion, is really hard to see or even heat transfer vinyl that has a white backing. So this is bright red on the front and this is ultra weed, but it has a white backing. So some colors are like that in heat transfer vinyl. So desk lamp, bright lamp, any of it helps. Um, Cassandra, my life would be in stitches if I tried to dress my cats. Um, I tortured my cats one year. I have two cats. Um, I put Christmas sweaters on them. They absolutely hated it. It didn't last very long before they figured out how to get them off. Um, but I'll never torture them like that again because they were not happy. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're not already in the Heat Press for Profit group, go ahead and sign up um, in that group. Uh, you know, all you have to do is answer a couple questions like what type of heat press do you have or um, what type of products do you use? And then you get entered into the group and I'll be sure to post all of those photos for you there. So thanks again so much for joining. I hope you all have a great Memorial Day weekend. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Um, so since we are not here on Monday, I will be doing a live broadcast on Tuesday at 11. So I'll see you guys then.